Okay, we're going to install a new router. This is a refurbished one, but I suppose it's the same as the open box. The power supply, network cable, and then here's the router. The Motorola Surfboard SBG6580. It's a built-in modem with, with the router. So what I got going now is I got a router from the cable company that's costing me like five, ten bucks a month to rent it. And then I had went out and bought another router so I could split up the signal and have four computers hooked up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do away with both, both of these things here. Then I can return this back. I can return this one back to the cable company and get the uh, five dollars a month off my bill. And we're going to replace those two boxes with just the one. Okay. This is something new. They just started making these about a year or two ago. So you plug in your your uh, TV cable here. And you plug in your computers here power supply here and then of course it's wireless you can have as many wireless computers as you want hooked up to it so let's see how this let's see how this goes here really not much to this. There's the front. That, that must be the on and off button. Nothing on this side, just a vent for the heat. This side's plugged up. Power supply, TV, and that's your internet. That's where you plug in your TV cable. And then four network cables. Okay, so first thing I have to do is find my network cable, or my, my TV cable. That'll be on the back of this guy here. That's, there's my, there's my line in. Let me see. That, that's what comes from the cable company here. And then this blue cord goes out into the back of this box. Okay. Give me a second while I fish this wire out here. I've got, I've got, a, I've got a real mess here.
this isn't something you have to do, but uh, I'm going to do it since I've got the plugs here. I've got this uh, USP here, uninterruptible power supply. You know, if the power goes out, this keeps running. Uh, this is a small one. It was only about 150 bucks. It only lasts for about 15 minutes if the power goes out, depending on what you have. But you can hook up, you can hook up your cable to it here, and it's supposed to protect the line from surge. You know, if there's a power surge. So cable in here, cable in here, and then we take another cable and bring it out here. So. This is the line I brought it from here. This is the line from the street. Let's check the plug here to make sure the cord's not bent. Put that on here. It's a quality cable, no interference. This goes on the, the, the line out. This is the one that goes to the router, to the new router. supposed to be loose like that. The other side isn't loose. I'll have to return that tomorrow. See how that's, that's just a little loose. This one here. Is it, uh, I, I suppose it might be a, just a little, just, just a tad loose. We'll see how it works. Okay, then the other end goes to the back of the router here. And now I gotta figure out where I want to put the router. I think I'm gonna put it way up top here. Way up top here on this top board. So let's see. I gotta feed the wire.
cable up here. on the back of there. One of these sides was vented. Yeah, see, this side isn't vented. So I'm, I'm going to lay that side down on the ground. And then this side was vents. Okay. Now we got to take the take the uh, cables from this from the old router and put them into the slots on the new router. So let's, see, let's see how that goes. Got a few extra cables here, but they aren't being used now, so we aren't worried about that for now. Just try and get the system up and running. Now we got to the power supply. Here's the power supply. Something that I always do, I always mark my power supplies because I'll lose track of what they go to. I just put a piece of masking tape on them.
G six five eight zero. <coughs> okay. Twenty parts of tires and don't know what they go to. Right? Okay. Supply. Okay. The cable's pretty long. Maybe that has to go to the back. The UPS tube. So. We're going to run the cable to the over here. Okay, now these, these power supplies here, they don't really stay in real good, so I like to tape them up. I just wrap some black tape around them, tape them to the box so they don't slide out. Okay, I just wrap some tape around here. All, that's all there is to it. And I, I just turned on and I, I got to call Time Warner, let them know I got a new box and they got to set it up at, at, the, at the company. They, they have to know that I have this new box. And uh, that'll be part two. See ya.